Uh, the administrative and legislative arms of government uh, have a good working relationship. Mm. So it's, it's, it's in pursuit of that kind of uh, ideal situation mm. that we are here to meet with the Secretary. Okay. Uh, to, to understand the expectations of the legislature. Absolutely. Uh, for, for us as, uh, as the administration and the executive. Mm -hmm. That's the whole idea. So I, I, I thought because I'm new in all respects, I'm mm -hmm. also new to Mpumalak. Yes. So I thought I should do some meet and greet mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. people that met, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the secretary. I met the provincial commissioner of the SAP last week. I've met uh, the head of uh, uh, state security. I hope to meet the vice chancellor of the university. So that's the, that's that's essentially what I'm hoping mm. to do in the in the process of all this. Yeah, uh, get a better sense of here where I am, mm. uh, coming from where I come from. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, DG. Uh, firstly, let me join the honourable premier the Honourable Speaker and the Executive in welcoming you and congratulating you to your new role as the DG in the province. DG uh, will wish you well uh, in your new responsibilities. Uh, we're looking forward to a fruitful, successful and professional relationship. I'll emphasize professional in, uh, in this case because as you know that we have the three arms of the state which is ourselves, the legislature, the executive, and judiciary. Mm -hmm. And we have a responsibility in terms of the constitution, section 114, to hold the executive accountable. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that we have worked very well with the, the executive. The cooperation has been good so far. And uh, we are expected to proceed in that manner. Yes, sir because we have a responsibility to ensure transparency in terms of the utilization of the resources of government, mm -hmm. because we know that we we utilize the taxpayers' money. So we have a responsibility to account to the taxpayers out there and, and to the citizens. Uh, also to emphasize that um, um, with the current situation in government, it's important to emphasize the issue of ethical governance mm. and ethical leadership, mm. ethical values. We need leaders who are responsible, who are accountable, who are transparent, leaders with a conscience, who understand that whenever you touch the resources of government, you understand that these are resources of government. Yes. They are not for private use. Mm. And therefore, when you are called upon to account, mm. there shouldn't be anything that holds you Mm. not to account yes. because we are utilizing the resources of the state and we have a responsibility to go back to the citizens and say to the citizens this is how we utilize your, 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 your money so that's the kind of leadership that we need at this day and age so we're looking forward to a fruitful relationship with you as you know I've got committees in the legislature for the program where we invite the executive to come over an account and uh, also I've got SCOPA as well also where we also request the, 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 the executive to come over an account to the committees one main, mainly SCOPA as well mm. um, so we're looking forward to, to a fruitful relationship with yourself uh, thank, thank you very much and welcome once again Thank you, thank you Secretary thank you. Yes. Thank you very much for the question uh, We have uh, very critical programs as the legislature and the executive uh, uh, The state of the province address which is coming very soon in February So DG will be working together with your office in preparation for the state of the province address Because it's hosted by us yes. as the legislature in terms of the constitution We'll invite the Honorable Premier to come and deliver the state of the province address in our chamber. Mm. So work closely with your office in ensuring that that event becomes a success. Yes. And also we have got the TLP uh, taking legislature to the people. Mm. Now that the country has been moved to a level one, mm. we're hoping that uh, with the vaccination program being rolled out, mm. eventually the country will open up and then we'll go back to 
our our normal programs, taking legislature to the people, mm -hmm. where we, we, we the legislature together with the executive identify a particular municipal area and visit that municipal area, invite the people as part of the public participation process because we have a, it's part of our core business, public participation, and allow people to ventilate and indicate their issues, what is happening on the ground. Because the, the, the leaders that we have were elected by the people, so it's critical that they go back and listen to what the people are saying on the ground. So we have such a, an important program. And we're hoping that early next year, we will then resume with such a program because the, we decided to stop because of the COVID-19 regulations. Obviously, we were, we were forced to stop because of COVID-19 challenges, but we hope that we will resume immediately when, when we are more even totally away from the restrictions, COVID-19 restrictions. So, so uh, I'm, I will help you yeah. ask questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so in, in, in helping, uh, part of this taking session today, people involves also taking sopa to communities. Do you do it? Have you done it like that in Pumalabon? Is sopa always done here at the chambers? It has always been in the chambers, as okay. far as I know, okay. unless I stand to be corrected. Mm -hmm. But um, usually it's the tier, the taking legislation to the people that we take to to, to, to the communities, where well, they have even sittings there of the communities. Community, yeah, community. yeah, so okay. in communities, the okay. formal sitting of the mm -hmm. legislature, taking place in communities. Okay. But the SOPA, no, we haven't so had it. Yeah. Maybe it's a matter that we, we can discuss and see how we can implement.